Hey everyone, my name is Ty Hard and this is my video on how to uh, tie um, neckties, different styles that I will be showing you in this video. And you can fall asleep. Uh, it's an ASMR video too, so if you want to tingle, you can. But you don't have to if you don't want to. So what you have to do is start off with a, a shirt. Uh, have it on. And it has to be a really crinkly um, shirt. So make sure it has stiff cheddar, uh, stiff collar. Um, preferably one made out of um, cardboard. I find they are the better ones. Uh, that hold up when you need them to particularly if you're wearing any of these styles that you'll see in this video so what I've done as you can see is I've done up top button and the rest of them um, and put up my collar I've, I've, it's called popping your collar so I've popped it so the first one I'm going to show you is a really traditional tie that you'll see during the heat of Christmas and um, it's, it's really straightforward uh, anyone can do this one so you start with these and you just make sure that it's nice and straight and even and that the, um, the bushes here are pointing outwards and upwards because if you're um, unconfident like me, you'll look down as you live your life. So people will only see you looking at the ground. So you want to make sure that the ornaments on the bushes are facing outwards so people know that you're uh, not regular. And then you just unpop your collar. So yeah, you just pop that down. And don't worry if it doesn't like go all the way down that's fine like that's cool in yeah that's a real simple way of wearing the Christmas time tie with tie <laughs> I made that up and uh, yeah oh and then if you want to like finish the look you can like pop a hat on and you can look so cool for all the photos with your family uh, and I think there's a button. Oh, the battery is dead. Oh, oh man, that's dumb. So yeah, that's the Christmas tie. So I hope you like that one. That one's real straightforward. Let's go to the next one. So just take that off and make sure to pop your collar again. Now, this next one is my total favorite. Totally, total. Okay, so start with a tie. Put that over you. And put the small side, one, two, three, four, five, six, to your six atom rib. There. And then let that one dangle. Okay. So you start by putting the fatter end over the skinny end and then hold that with your forefinger and your forefather. You come back around and over and over, okay, and up. So it's almost like a semi Windsor knot, okay. And then come down through the loop. Like so. Like that. I actually just tied a proper knot. So, okay, so you've got like that knot. And then, this is where it gets really exciting. Grab your favorite watch. And you want to hook that on. So, yep, that's one. 
you want to do up the buckle but you've got to make sure that you leave plenty of space for the final part so don't do it tight just go through there so there's enough room push that in and then you get the last part A slippery watch gets the bird. I think that's how the saying goes. Cool. Right. And then just tighten the tie. And then pop your collar down. So I like to call this one it's time to tie the time tie with tie. Ladies love it. Pardon me. Or you can refer to it with a shorten as the shortened name as it's time for tubby time tie. Mum. Now this next one is a traditional American tie. It's in the Bolo family. So you, you just got to find the thinnest th string thing you can. So in this case, I've got an HDMI cable. So you want to crosswise, literally, and then go under the whale watcher and up and that comes over and down and with the excess HDMI just shove that somewhere I'll just put it under there I'll do up your top knot and YOLO you've got a bowler it's in my it's inside me mum pink apparently is um slimming uh, so if you want to like look confident in what you're wearing this one is for you. <clears throat> um, so you want to start with like having this end. It's called the um, fraternal end. You have that down on your right side. If you're left-handed, it doesn't matter. You keep doing it the same. So have have the skinny end. It's not a skinny tie. It's just an end. Just have that down to about your one, two, three, fourth Adam's rib. Uh, and that should be about right. So what you want to do is grab the fraternal end and you basically just want to turn it up so the outside is in. Now the outside is out and the insides, yeah. And then you take the thinner end and then you loop it around this part so it goes around the front or the back and then you bring it right round and what you want to do see it's making like a tongue yeah like if I were to hold that uh, 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 it looks like a tongue so oh, I licked it Anyway, 
So with the tongue shape, you go around the flappy bit, around, up, and then back through under the teddy bear's picnic is what it's called. And you only want like, like a quarter of an inch hanging out the bottom, as you can see. So hold on to that one and we'll come back to that later. And what you want to do with the middle part of the tie is put your thumb under it. I hope you're following along at home. This one's really easy. So put your thumb under it like that and then bring it so it goes over and around and then put that one up and pull your arm through like that if you can see and then you want to oh, where is it going the quarter inch just pull that tight like that so you got that so now what we have to do is thread the head through the head of the needle. So bring that up and you bring that over. I have a really big head. You bring that up and over like that. And then you just pull this quarter inch tight like that. And that is the pink lady we like to call it. So this obviously only works with pink tie. So you got to do that. And you wear it just to the, the side. You don't have it centered. So it looks pretty cool. And like you see how the quarter inch just falls out the top there. So you just, just like tweak that. Yep. Oh, and then unpop the collar. It's kind of like a cross between a um, a tie and a, a ascot, but it's mostly tie. It's like seventy percent tie. Yeah, looks pretty good. That's like the best one I've done so far. Okay, with your left hand put it over the oh man this is not working mom take your left hand tie and then you want to go over the front so like a cat's paw so it looks like that All right now keep your forefinger and your forefather and your thumb uh, like that and then you want to take this one and like with the pink lady we take that over our head like that chuck it behind you and then you take your right hand with the thing and you do the same over your head and chuck it back so remember we've got that so now pull this all the way so it goes tight around your neck, not too tight. And then with your hand, you basically want to do a dolphin dive, but in reverse. So we go dolphin, reverse, and then through and back under. So we're like that, okay? Hope you're keeping up. Right, so from here, with your bent limp wrist, you want to turn it 180 degrees Celsius that way, and then with your right hand, um, see the hole in there, put your forefather in there, and then you want to slowly thread the little flap of the lesser color through here. Okay, and now let your thumb go on that one and then pull that through. Okay, so we're about 30% of the way through on this one. 
Okay, now you've got to straighten that one out and then you go over the picnic table background and pull that tight. Okay. Now we have to oh where am I? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we have to do it's called a duck dive. Um so we're gonna go quack up through the shack and then this comes down through the rabbit warren. Grab all of those. Comes down through. Like that. And then you pull it tight. Oh, that didn't work. So this is if it if it doesn't work. You can just go with it. And then you grab this one. Go over. Under the unicorn, through the side saddle, like that. Pull that tight. And then you grab the lesser one. And you go over the bridge, under the wormhole, and then through, back down, pull that tight. Now the last bit we have left is the at the end of this one. So all we have to do to finish this off is go back through the rabbit warren and then it's called over the chicken coop and then back through and pull it tight. Oh, it's upside down. Don't worry. It was cool. So there we go. Oh, and then unpop the collar. And there's like so much f fabric. Fabric is like so in at the moment. So you can't go wrong with too many fabrics. T too much fabric. Oh. Oh, man. So the next one I've got to show you like a hybrid type it uses many uh, multi-faceted ties and once one so you grab a tie preferably skinny tie so go from the middle see the middle and make sure it's outside in no outside in Okay, you start putting that one around you and then bring it right round. Baby, right round. Cool, like that, just once round. And then let those dangle down your Adams and Eve ribs. Then you grab your next one. Preferably another skinny tie. And then make sure the wide end is this side this time. And then go from the middle. And then like so, let's go back around again. And then back over, like so. See the layers? And then you get a third one, skinny. And inside, no, inside, outside, in. Yeah. And from the middle. And this one, you don't start at the front, I just about did. Go from the back, all right? And you come it around. And now here, that's right. Hope you're keeping up at home. Okay, so this one you cross over, and then you just want to do it like a four in the hand. Sweet, it's so sweet. Around, and then up, and down. And it's inside out, like that. Inside out. Now these ends, I'm gonna grab, go over, 
under the flying fox. Back up. Like that. Pull that. Now grab this one and you want to like shoelace tie them together. So you just go, uh, oh yeah, yep, like that. Open over. Cool. Sweet. That's so sweet. And then you just want to bring this one up through the middle. Pull it through. Yep, that's right. Look at those layers. Give me an F. D. Give me a C. D. Give me a double D. Eh. <laughs> um, so you see how you've got that one? Just go back, up, over, around. And then come through the cravat, the crevice. Like that. Pull that down. We're almost there. You're doing so good. Cool. Pull that tight through. And then just draw it up. Draw it all the way up. Yep. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. And then just pull any loose ends through. And you can like just wear that casual, casually on your throat. And then pull that down. Unpop that collar. You may need a, a big collar for this one. Like bigger than a dog collar. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration on tying some ties that you can wear like for all sorts of occasions like business, pleasure, uh, school, high school, uh, college if you want to get beat up. Um, I know I did. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Ty Hard and I'll uh, see you next time probably. Sweet. Leaders.